This is Edmonton, heart of Western Canada and home to three quarters of a million people. More than a million rely on Edmonton's regional transportation system every day. And that's just the people who live here. As capital city of Alberta, one of Canada's wealthiest and busiest provinces, Edmonton is the political, economic and academic heart of a region the size of a small country. The most northern metropolis on the North American continent, Edmonton is known as the gateway city to the vast and resource-rich areas of northern Canada. Thousands of vehicles travel to and through Edmonton every day, adding to existing traffic. There are lots of ways to get from point A to point B, and Edmonton uses them all. The people who live here are as diverse as Edmonton's pioneering history. Edmonton's population growth spurt that has been ongoing since the mid-80s is expected to continue exponentially, all of which makes for a transportation challenge. The city realizes that they can't get out of gridlock by simply building more roadways. So there's two things we're looking at, public transportation and the intelligent use of our roadway system. And that's where this type of project comes into play. Building on its existing intelligent transportation infrastructure, the City of Edmonton is engaged in partnerships with several companies to create predictive traffic modeling. The project's focus is Yellowhead Trail, part of a trans-Canadian highway system and one of Edmonton's busiest roads, carrying 75,000 vehicles every day. Yellowhead Trail is our major east-west corridor for goods and service movements. The traffic on Yellowhead Trail has a large percentage of uh, trucks and with the signals, the traffic flow is stop and go. During the peak hours, it becomes quite congested. The elements of ITS that we have on Yellowhead Trail are, include vehicle detection that's in the pavement. We have video detection in our cameras that monitor the entire corridor. That information is fed back to our traffic management center that has control of our traffic signals. The advanced ITS system that we're looking at will take the vehicle detection feeds and then model the traffic and have a predictive algorithm. And then using the predicted future volumes, we will adapt the signal controls to optimize the corridor and the network. Let's say, for example, we have an accident happening and the traffic management operator, central operator, realizes, sees on the camera there's an accident or gets a police report. They can then, with our new system, go in and immediately inform drivers through the various variable message signs or dynamic message signs that have been deployed along the corridor. So watch out, there's an accident, maybe even give detour recommendations. At the same time, with a new system in place, the operator can see now what would what is predicted, what's going to happen with traffic flow with that accident in place. And now can say, okay, I reroute traffic maybe over one of the parallel arterials and then change automatically the signal timing so that drivers that are using this detour route actually have now a better sort of are rewarded with really good signal timing along the way. We've worked with the city of Edmonton ever since we started our business here in the mid-1990s and they have been sort of a fantastic customer who always was willing to try something new, explore something new and sort of let us develop further our products. This project brings Edmonton pretty much on par with Hong Kong, London. Those are other two other cities in the world that are currently looking at deploying similar systems, developing similar systems. So from that end it's a very new emerging technology. BMW is also watching what happens in Edmonton. The company is working on in-vehicle navigation systems that can use the technology being tested in Edmonton. We are very happy to work with cities that deploy cutting-edge technology and that enables us to tap into their systems and get access to local data. Our vehicles today have computers in them, they have connectivity, so from a technological point of view, we are only just a few steps away from deploying this kind of technology. In today's world, as traffic congestion gets worse and worse, it's absolutely essential to come up with new ITS solutions that utilize today's infrastructure more efficiently. Well, one of the key ingredients in any successful city is a good transportation system. Uh, it's not only about moving people around to get to their work, but it's also moving goods and services through the city and within the city. And having this kind of technology enables that particular group to uh, get things done quickly. And that's that pulse that has to occur uh, for us to continue to be the gateway to the north. As demand grows worldwide for more efficient transportation systems, Edmonton keeps setting the pace 
in the heart of Western Canada.